16 teams remain in the NCAA tournament, but no matter who takes home the trophy in the end, one of the event's big winners is the city of Hartford. Absolutely. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne is live outside the Excel Center with details on all of the dollars, tens of thousands, hundreds, millions, who knows, that float into the capital city. Roger? Yeah, Dennis and Denise, a lot of money and a whole lot of fun here in Hartford. It really was one of the centers of the college basketball universe. You know, the XL Center hosted six phenomenal tournament games. And Pratt Street really looked like a rainbow as fans from all over the country descended here and they all partied together. But again, the most important color here in Hartford was definitely green. The games inside the XL Center were a lot of fun, but you didn't need to buy a ticket to have a blast in Hartford this weekend. City leaders shut down Pratt Street, turning the road into one gigantic sports bar with comfy sofas, big screen TVs, and a few games that didn't have anything to do with basketball. But don't let all the smiling faces fool you. The NCAA tournament games were a serious success for Hartford and the state of Connecticut. Get this, organizers now feel confident that the event will blow past early financial forecasts. The final numbers are not available yet, but Bob Murdoch, the president of the Connecticut Convention and Sports Bureau, expects that in the end, the games will have brought in more than $8 million to the Hartford area. And that goes way beyond the 50,000 or so people who bought tickets to the games. These are people getting out into the community, uh, going to restaurants, going to bars, coming here to Excel Center, staying in hotels. So it's not just this building that is, is receiving uh, economic benefit, but it's a lot of different venues around the area. Now the NCAA select cities based on factors like arena size, available hotel rooms, and number of new buildings. Obviously Hartford made the cut. The NCAA tournament has already selected their cities through 2022, so the earliest Hartford could be selected again is 2023. We mentioned also that the state of Connecticut is also a big winner, and that is because they are expected to bring in more than half a million dollars in state tax revenue. Reporting live in Hartford, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.